Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig, it's six o'clock, it's time for Magic Live. Now today I'm gonna to be doing a routine uh, that's based on Conrad College by um, the incredible Matt Baker. Uh, he published it in the Buda Vista Shuffle Club. Uh, this is my variation that uh, first appeared in my project forecast from 1914. Uh, a couple of big differences. The, the first couple of phases are very, very similar. The last phase is completely different and it doesn't destroy the stack, which is really important to me because I'm uh, using the same deck over and over again. I don't want to destroy the stack. And also, uh, I just prefer the ending, uh, the, the, the way that it's done here. It's, um, I, I think, it, for me, it works better. Um, the final phase is very, very different. Now, uh, if you want to learn this, it's going up on the Netrix uh, on Monday. So we're having uh, a Memdex section set up on the Netrix because so many people have asked for that. And it starts this Monday with five routines, five of my uh, favorite Memdex routines being uploaded to the Netrix. After those five routines have gone up, uh, over the coming weeks and months, we're gonna be adding more content to it and advice on memorizing a Memdex and everything and so on and so forth. So if you wanna learn this and any of the routines that are on the Netrix, you can go to www.thenetrix.com. But I'm gonna perform it to Michael. How are you doing, Michael? I'm good. Good stuff. And this is kind of interesting. What you're going to see here, Michael, is uh, you're going to, I'm going to let you in behind the curtain, so to speak. I'm going to give you a sneak peek behind the curtain and tell you what it takes to be a card magician. You, 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 you interested? Yeah. Because there's, there's a lot that you have to do. If you want to be a card magician, you have to go to um, card college. It's kind of like normal college, but nowhere near as cool or hip. And uh, card college is where you learn how to do card magic. And you have to be there for three years before you're a qualified cardician like me. And uh, each year you learn a different skill. And I thought I'd show you the skills that you learn each year. There we go. Uh, I thought I'd show you the skills that you learn each year in, in card college. So year one is all about estimation. And what I mean by estimation is the ability to know how many cards are in your hand at any given time. It's quite difficult. It's not an easy thing to do. Let me show you what I mean. I know you're holding the camera, Michael. Yeah. But could you come over and just cut some cards into my hand? It's totally uh, up to you how many. And all I have to do is just measure these, weigh them, and I can tell you there's exactly 27 cards there. Look, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Huh? When you've done that, um, then you can pass year one. But you've got to be balls to the wall accurate, Michael. You can't just like uh, fluke it and just do it every so often. It has to be every single time. Let's just show them it's not a fluke. Uh, cut some more cards into my hand. It's totally up to you how many. Uh, just cut some cards, and all I have to do is just weigh them, and I can tell you there's 15 cards there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. When you've done that, you pass to your one. You get pissed up, you have a ginormous party, everybody gets drunk, and then you go into second year two. Now, year two is a lot harder. With year two, what you have to do is you have to learn how to... Um, be able to dead cut. So what I mean by dead cutting is cutting to a very specific part of the deck. So for example, you have to need to cut, uh, let's say somebody said I'm 15, for example, I'd have to go boom and cut exactly 15 cards. Watch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Huh? Now you could think that I'm, I'm cheating because I said the number. Well, I, I'm not cheating, but I'll, I'll prove it to you. I'll do it again. But this time you can say the number. Name a number, Michael. Um, 23. 23 would be around about there. Here we go, 23. I'm, I'm not kidding, let me show you. Look, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Huh? <laughs> when you've done that, then you get to uh, go into year three. You have your party, first of all. It's a giant piss up and uh, think <coughs> of a normal college party, but slightly geekier with a lot more playing cards <laughs> and you're in the same sort of thing. The final year is very, very difficult. The final year, Michael, the final year. Oh, my God, the final year. The last year is tough. So what the last year is, is you have to know, you have to be able to predict how many cards somebody will cut before they even cut them. Now it's a difficult thing to do because if you said 15, if I said you're gonna cut 15 cards, you can prove me wrong by cutting a big amount. So I have to predict it ahead of time. So I'm gonna take three cards out of this deck, Michael. Hmm, that one. I'm gonna take three cards out of this deck. Yes, those three, yeah. I'm gonna take three cards out of this deck. Now, when you add those three cards together, I am fairly sure 
that that right there will equal the amount of cards you're going to cut. So I went to cut about um, you know, somewhere between, well, it's up to you roughly, you know, half, less than half, I don't really care. It's up to you. I'm just put them in my hand. Are you, are you, it's very important. Are you sure you're happy there? Yeah. Now, I want you to think about this, Michael, for a second. You could have cut anywhere you want to. Do you agree? Yeah. You could have cut here. 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 You could have cut anywhere you wanted to, but you cut that amount. You don't know how many are there. And before you cut, I put three cards over here, and I said the total of those three cards would add up to how many cards you've cut. Yeah. First thing we need to do is count how many cards there are here. So let's count them. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen cards. And over here, I put three cards from the very beginning. I put a five, a five and a nine, which is five plus nine is fourteen. 14. And I put an ace, which is a one. That's fifteen cards. And I was able <laughs> to predict exactly what you would do. That's good. That's that's why I'm a cardition because <laughs> past year three. Um, so there you go. You can learn that on the net tricks. If you want to learn that, it's a super commercial trick. Uh, and I love performing it. And by the way, when you're talking about Memdex, you know, it's really important to keep the stack intact. All I have to do is put that back into the 30th position. Like there. And I am set up, ready to go again. So if you want to learn that, you can go to the net tricks, www.thenettricks.com. And you can go and learn it immediately because uh, you'll have access to it uh, in the Memdex section of the net tricks, which is super awesome and super cool. So uh, there's over four or five hundred tricks up there now. Loads of slides, more slides than you could wave a stick at. Weekly uh, virtual magic clubs where I hang out with people on Zoom and we talk magic. There's a lot going on. So if you want to join the net tricks, www.thenettricks.com. You can learn that and a whole bunch. Of, oops, excuse me. You can learn that and a whole bunch of others. And I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. My name's Craig from Magic TV. <laughs>